Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Goblet of Fire, the Weasley family, and JK Rowling. More specifically, we're going to be addressing a gaping hole in the Goblet of Fire plot that JK Rowling was able to rectify by removing a certain unknown Weasley family member. There are nine immediate family members of the Weasleys to which were introduced in the series. In no particular order, we have Ron, Charlie, Ginny, Molly, Fred, George, Percy, Arthur, and Bill. The Weasleys first make their mark right near the beginning of the Philosopher's Stone, when Harry stumbles into them at Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Almost immediately, we get the sense that Harry is going to be close with these solid, kind people, and over the course of the books, films, Harry basically becomes family. Where Harry was shunted the Dursley residence, which is ironic since he is actually related to them, he was conversely welcomed with open arms at the Weasley residence. However, interestingly enough, originally, there was actually supposed to be another Weasley child that came to prominence in the books, films. JK Rowling discusses this in an interview. The first three books, my plan never failed me, but I should have put that plot under a microscope. I wrote what I thought was half the book, and ack, huge gaping hole in the middle of the plot. I missed my deadline by two months, and the whole profile of the books got so much higher since the third book, there was an edge of external pressure. And what exactly was that gaping hole all about? I had to pull a character. There you go, the phantom character of Harry Potter. She was a Weasley cousin. She served the same function that Rita Skeeter now serves. Rita was always going to be in the book, but I built her up because I needed a kind of conduit for information outside the school. Originally, this girl fulfilled this purpose. Though not a direct child of Molly and Arthur, the unknown Weasley was in fact a cousin, Mafalda Weasley, the daughter of the second cousin who's a stockbroker mentioned in the Philosopher's Stone. Mafalda, however, would turn out to be the most unpleasant child Mrs. Weasley had ever met, and she would prove to continually butt heads with the protagonists. Mafalda was supposed to convey certain information about the Death Eaters to Harry, Ron, and Hermione, because as a nosy, eavesdropping Slytherin who likes to impress, she does not keep her mouth shut when she overhears their sons and daughters talking. But Rowling ended up taking her out because she felt that the character was out of place. Unfortunately, however bright I made her, there were obvious limitations to what an 11 year old closeted at school could discover, whereas Rita Skeeter, whom I subsequently built up to fulfill Mafalda's function, was much more flexible. Did you guys know about this unknown Weasley? Had you heard of her before? Comment down below. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.